Meet Valeria, a human Barbie you would swear comes from the sunny beaches of Malibu. But in her case, she's from Moldova. The 35-year-old blonde didn't always look like this. Growing up, she rebelled against beauty norms and wore a goth look. Hardcore goth. She even sported bracelets with sharp two-inch spikes and artificial fangs to push back against her school bullies. When she turned 16, Valeria moved to Odessa, world-renowned for its questionable mail-order bride services. No comment! <laughs> she began modeling, dyed her hair platinum blonde, and learned some next-level makeup skills. It wasn't long before she attracted the eye of a wealthy construction mogul named Dimitri, the son of one of her father's closest friends. Hiya, Bobby. Hi, Cam. You wanna go for a ride? Sure, Cam. Jump in. Soon after meeting her new beau, her metal metamorphosis started to take shape. Valeria only admits to having breast implants, but some plastic surgeons think she's had much more work done. I mean, looking at these photos, I mean, she definitely does look like a Barbie. She looks, you know, pretty artificial. She could have had some liposuction to make her waist thinner. Um, she has very, very refined features in her face, so she could have had rhinoplasty um, to narrow her nose. And maybe a touch of Photoshop, which even Valeria has admitted to in order to achieve smoothness. Barbie! Others theorize she's had her eyelids trimmed to achieve the bright-eyed look. But according to Valeria, her made of plastic mystique all boils down to her makeup skills, which she spends an hour and a half on every day. So cool. For many people it is a problem because of their indolence and they think that I use all my free time for my appearance, but it is not true. It is just a side effect of my internal development. Oh, and did we mention she's changed her name to Amatu? She claims the word appeared to her in a dream. She's using it now as her new persona as she conducts New Age workshops. Right. Well, if you think she's the only human Barbie out there, wait until you meet the real-life Ken. This is your body on Human Barbie Dolls. Justin Jedlica. Known as the Human Ken doll, <gasps> Justin Jedlica has spent a whopping $1 million over the past 25 years on thousands of cosmetic procedures. All this to look like Barbie's BFF. As a teenager, Jedlica felt his nose was too large and had it fixed for the first time when he was 17. This was just the beginning. He's had implants all over, in his pecs, buttocks, shoulders, and arm muscles, all to achieve a chiseled look. Yeah, let's see it. Oh, wow. I didn't start wanting to look like a doll. Um, it's sort of taken shape over the years. For Justin, plastic surgery is a sign of status. Growing up, he was heavily influenced by shows like Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous. I ended up sort of emulating what I thought a lot of those wealthy people looked like. You know, they all had plastic surgery. In Justin's case, his plan worked. Welcome to the Millionaire's Club. Thank you so much, appreciate that. Over the years, his uncanny Ken doll look has landed him many TV appearances, including shows like Botched and The Doctors. These things can take on the form of food addiction, drug addiction, Any plastic surgery no. addiction. Justin says he knows he didn't need the hundreds of operations he's had. He was never unhappy with the way he looked, but his transformation was less about attracting Barbie and more of a creative quest. It really, for me, has become a quest in my artistry and my creativity, where for me it's an expression of the things that I find beautiful, not necessarily what Western culture has dictated as beautiful. And While the line, life in plastic, it's fantastic, might ring true for Barbie and Ken, our next human Barbie has taken a more natural approach to beauty. Ducky Thought. This is Naya Duck a.k.a. Ducky, a South Sudanese-Australian model whose sleek look has caught the attention of Barbie fans worldwide. As the third-place winner in the 2013 season of Australia's Next Top Model, 17-year-old Ducky received a lot of racist backlash on social media. In every city you go to, you're going to find racist people, and I think being in the public eye, you need to be okay with that. According to Ducky, the hairstylists on the show didn't know what to do with her natural black hair and told her she needed to cornrow her own locks. I sat in front of the mirror silently crying before my shoot, doing my own hair. 
Camera's rolling while all the other girls had hair stylists. After taking a couple of years off from modeling, Ducky returned with a fresh new look and almost 300,000 followers on Instagram. I kind of didn't really have a career in Australia, so I moved to New York, and then it just blew up from there. Unlike Valeria, she's embraced the Barbie title her fans gave her. She's even tweeted to Mattel to make a doll in her likeness. Since then, she's moved to New York City to work on her modeling career full-time, doing spots for Sephora and Harper's Bazaar, to name a few. She's also been a vocal supporter of quashing toxic beauty standards surrounding black women's hair. Being a black woman, we haven't really been taught how to take care of our natural hair. We've only been taught how to hide it. I think hair companies, the media, hairstylists, and the industry itself are to blame. It looks like the rising star might be able to afford that Barbie dream house after all. She's worked her way up to strutting her stuff as a coveted angel for Victoria's Secret. And after a chance meeting with Kanye and Kim, she made it onto Yeezy's 2017 fashion show. She's also worked alongside Rihanna. Get it, girl. Lucky for Ducky, most cosmetic surgeons believe her beauty is all natural. But that wasn't the case for model and TV personality Pixie Fox. We'll learn how she earned the title of The Human Cartoon on another episode of Your Body On.